So we were up here at Lake Waterloo, South Carolina, specifically Taylor's Creek Landing. Um, we're going to see if we can't catch some crappy. Uh, we'll be pulling jigs. We've got old Josh Yeehaw, and 20, Yeehaw 27 himself up here with us. As you can see, it's a uh, beautiful day up here at the lake. It's always a good day to get out and enjoy what God has made. He definitely has blessed each and every one of us with, with some beautiful scenery. So we'll get back with y'all and see if we can't catch some crappy. Now I'm running triple jigs on here on this, this single rod to see how they do today. We're going to try a triple. One good thing about it, Josh, you ain't got to worry about getting hooked. Because that rod's over there in their yard. <laughs> <when I throw. laughs> yeah. Then what, then what about... 13, 14 foot rods? Yeah, those are 13. 15. Nims is the big 13. And these are uh, nines. I only go, we'll start out running six because sometimes if they start really tearing it up, it gets to be a handful. Now, what color, what color, uh, what do you call them things? Jigs. Yeah, what color jigs are you running? Well, I wasn't expecting it to be this muddy. So we are running um, running some darker colors. Usually when the water's when the water's got a more of a stain to it or it's darker, I tend to run a darker color jig. A lot of people swear by running a lighter color jig, but to me that darker color jig shows up better. And what size line are you using? Uh, this would be eight pound. This is eight pound, um, Mr. Crappy line. You can get it at Walmart. If y'all want to know any questions, yeah, you'll uh, feel free to you know comment in the video. And like I said, I'm just starting out, so John's showing me. So y'all make sure y'all comment if you want to know, and I'll be happy to help help you answer any questions, just so you can learn how to crappy fish yourself. John, about how fast are we trolling? We're running point nine right now. Now, I'll vary that once I get it out, get all these rods out. We'll see. You know, we'll we'll determine what they're going to bite at. But the main thing right now is once we get set up and get all these rods out, we'll be able to adjust our speed. Um, I don't really, I'm not really paying attention to the um fish finder at this point as far as if there's fish on it or not all i'm looking for is depth that's really all i'm targeting right now it is depth that's what i'm looking for right now we're at 17.3 running 0.83 miles an hour so that's basically all i pay attention to this time of year is my depth because these crappy they go and they're gonna spawn and they're gonna move right back off into that deeper water. So now it's just to sit back and wait to see what happens, guys. Y'all stay tuned and hopefully we can get some on camera for you. Let's have a bite on this one. This outside rod. Oh, look at that. Hit it. Yep. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Yes sir, yes sir. Haven't got it? Yeah, he's got it. He's on there, he ain't big. They thought not think he's big. Huh? Nah. Yeah, he got a little fight in him. Oh dang. Oh, he's a good crappy. Good one. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey, yeah, good. <laughs> Them jokers, that's big enough to fillet there, bro. You gonna put them in the cooler? What you think? I like that fine tune over there. Grizzle don't want me to get one. Might get one one day. Yep. 
the price is right. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Ooh, we missed him. And he had it good. You didn't see it? No. I was over here paying attention to the... Did he hit it? Shoot, yeah. What's up, folks? Got a little lull in action. Right now. But I want to show you what I'm looking at on my fish finder. So, basically, I'm paying attention to the depth and the speed that I'm going. Right now, it looks like we're pulling at point seven miles an hour um we got a good wind with us so we're trying to fight the wind today and we're at 16.7 seven feet so basically when you're doing this don't worry too much about seeing fish on on your graph um, because you're covering a lot of ground but we do we do have a have some big ones in there don't we josh yeah nice lab. some big and big ones. That right there, folks, that's why we come to the Lake Water Reef. Got some beautiful slab crappies. Beautiful slab crappies. But yeah, stay with us. We're gonna see if we can't bring bring y'all some more fish out here. There he is. So many crappies just waiting to. Is that a crappie? Yeah. You feel real and like it ain't. This is crappy. No, big old white perch. Well, he done swallowed the bird. Right there. Brother. Because, uh, unfortunately, I had to change batteries. How many times have you changed batteries today? Uh, just... Oh. Seems like seven times. Seven batteries. And been out here for seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> for all you cats using GoPros, man, how do you deal with the batteries on the fish? Walmart sponsored me in my videos. <laughs> Walmart sponsors me too. They ought to as much crap I buy from. GoPro, they all too too as much money I didn't spend into them in batteries. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Probably just a dud. Dang, Bo! That son of a gun there about ripped the freaking rod out of the boat, didn't he? He's still on there? Yeah. A perch. freaking perch. This old fella was fishing one time and he had done caught a whole mess of crappy. Had him. He had him in a, uh, a bucket. A bucket of water. And, you know, they were swimming around in that bucket of water. An old game warden come up on him. Said, uh, need to see your fishing license. The guy said, well, what for? He said, I ain't fishing. And one said, well, I mean, you got your rod there and you got them, them fish in the, the bucket. Uh, you know, I, I consider that fishing. That old man said, these, these, I ain't catch these fish. These are my pet fish. The old fella, the old game warden said, your pet fish? How's them your pet fish? The old guy said, well, I come down here every afternoon and I put this here old bucket, fill it up with some water and whistle. And the old fish come swimming up and they get right in the bucket. That game board said, no, I done heard, I about not heard at all. Said, no, you need to show me your fishing license. And that guy said, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. The game board said, all right, all right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. He said, all right, show me, show me what you can do. So that old fella, he took that bucket full of them lively crappy and he dumped it back in that old lake. They swam off. That game board said, all right. Put your water in your bucket, whistle, and see if they come back. Old boy said, what comes back? Them crappy. <laughs> Old man said, what crappy? <laughs> <laughs>
Boy, it's got a bow. Get him, bow. Oh, this is a good fish, this boat. They about jerked the darn rod out to hold him. Feel like a catfish. He got off. Felt like a darn catfish. You get him? Woo! Look at this monster here, boy. Yeah. How's that? Perch? Uh oh, middle. Perch? Uh, no. Don't feel like a little perch. It feels like a catfish? No. Feels like a catfish. A slappy? A slappy, son. Oh man, look at this dude here. He's massive? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good half pounder there. Yeah, <laughs> look at this stuff here, folks. Jig just fell out. That's, that's ridiculous, isn't it? He hit on that orange, too. They hit them all on the all. We'll take him, won't we, John? Yes, sir. There's a crappy. That ain't no crappy. Yeah, there is. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're faking it. That's what you want, folks, right there. Uh, slappy. Those slappies. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. You get him? Perch. Oh, you got him. That looked like a nice one. Uh, that's a perch. We're just slapping. We on the perch back here, buddy. We, we can still edit the video saying how to catch perch. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do. This is how you catch perch. <laughs> All right, folks. We had back to the boat landing. Uh, we caught a good mess of fish today. But uh, we're going to get back to the shop, and we're going to show you the rig that we were using today to catch these crappy on. We'll see you at the shop. What is up, everybody? All right, so John here. I got my son Christian with me. So we're just getting home from crappy fishing uh, with Josh. you have to check Check his page out, Yeehaw27. Um, caught a great mess of fish today. The water was very, very, very muddy. Uh, the wind started to pick up on us. Like I said, we did catch some good fish, though, as you see in the video. So the rig we're running today is a double drop rig, and I have posted a previous video on how I tie that up if you want to go back and watch it. But basically, rundown of it is you got your drop loop right here about two and a half, three foot of line. Then I've gone down just to regular, regular knot. But for the up top, we're running a 32nd jig head and the bottom we're running a 16th ounce jig head. Um, the main colors for today, and the water was muddy. So the main colors today were the black and chartreuse. The one I like to call the Gamecock, which is garnet black and chartreuse. Believe it or not, we had several on what I call a creamsicle, which is an orange, white, and chartreuse. We had several on a dark blue, black, and chartreuse. Oh, yeah, they do like them, don't they? And we had one or two on the green. Uh, it looks like a two different colors of green. It's a, like a bright green, a dull green, and chartreuse. But yeah, like I said, um, the weather was pretty, the water was muddy today. We had some issues with that as well. Um, but like I said, we caught some great fish, caught some big fish. But anything you want to see on your on video, fishing, stuff like that, hunting, just ask me, comment. 
You can go to our Facebook page, One Over Outdoors, add us as a friend. Um, but like I said, we had a great time today and hope y'all enjoyed it and God bless.